handsome. You looking for some rotten cotton? I'm a woman. That's okay. Yeah, that's even better. You've got a good time for you. <laughs> Brian, ha, huh? pictures is sort of a an underside development arm, I think, of, uh, of the puppets. It's yeah. our other dark nature. Yes. Hence an alternative. That's what ha stands for. Hence an alternative. Ha! Exclamation point. <laughs> and yeah, it is specifically are not appropriate for children's content. I've seen the trailer. <laughs> I mean, yes. I think we've said not not intended for, but we've gone further. It's not appropriate. We're but there is certainly a... this one. This one is as oh, yeah. hard R rating as we've ever put out. But there is a precedent. Because your father did, what was it, Sam and Friends before the night, the late night shows in the 50s? Yeah, but Sam and Friends, that was in the 50s, so everything was extremely censored. But it was a, it was a late night show, so it was for adults, but it was, it was quite benign. <laughs> I'd say the most um, subversive my dad got was season one of Saturday Night Live, which he did. He put them up, it's on Saturday Night Live, and Saturday Night Live was... A controversial show at the time. Well, you'd have it was, to. You know. it, it was very, you know, very adult in nature. And my dad, um, he developed a group of characters for Saturday Night Live. That was probably the most adult in nature he got. What would he think of this? I don't know. I think, he, I think he'd be <laughs> like, "Wow, really? Can you really get away with it? Can, I mean, can you?" you and I don't. And I hope we can. I feel like I've sort of tested this a little bit because I have a show called Puppet Up Uncensored which is really what made me want to do this movie is right. it's a live show and it's mostly improvised and the audience makes suggestions as what should happen in the scene and the suggestions are so dirty and so adult and and the scenes become so funny because of it and that's really what brought us to doing this now i was terrified when i brought puppet up uncensored out on tour the first time because it had been in festivals and really well received and I thought well festivals are festivals we'll see but everybody really really received it very very well that show and it's very R rated and as long as it's clear so that children don't come I think it's I think it's fine and it's kind of it's delightfully fun for us to do and for the audience so this is the first scripted piece that's in the vein of that tone of comedy. It's sensational and I think the difference is between the P and the M Puppets versus Muppets. Children, oh, and, Muppets. Well, and also we call these puppets specifically the miscreants. Yeah. These are, we call these the Henson miscreants or the miscreant puppets. Um, because, and they're the ones that do the adult content material. You've got pornographers, prostitutes. Yes. Yes, we've got them all. You've got them all. You we've really got drug dealers. <laughs> you didn't let anything drug stand addicts. your way. Sugar uh, addicts, sugar addicts. We've got sugar addicts, but they're yeah. drug addicts in the yeah. puppet world. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, my word. Um, and Melissa McCarthy, you know, God bless her. She's, uh, she will go anywhere and make it deadpan and hilarious. Right. Well, she has this thing where she can make it very real. So yeah. she <laughs> enters a scene and she's very real. She's a very real presence. You, so you believe her. And you believe her so much that then she can say things that you're like, oh my God, what did she just say? And it's hilariously funny. And, it, and that was great to bring that into the center of the movie. Great. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Great. <laughs> hey.